podcast that I would recommend y'all listening to like over and over. Um, it's the one I did with my coach, um, Dr. Matt Townsend. And then, um, then I, then I had Jamie Miller on the next week and then I had Wally on the week after that. You talk about getting real Wally, Wally laid it all out on the line, but Jamie, um, his accent is, is intriguing. Like he'll suck you in just the way he, the way he talks. But, um, he has just the, this way of communication. So the podcast, the podcast with, with coach, we got into dialogue theory. We got into a lot of understanding, you know, behavior for us as humans. And, it, you know, one of the things that I always say, it's, you know, as we're having conversations with somebody else, it's always layers deeper. It's always layers deeper. And what coach always talks about is that it's smoke and fire. And that a lot of the things that, that will get us is the smoke, right? When people are upset, they're coming at us, they're saying something, that's the smoke. And I had a, I had a conversation with, with someone and she was having kind of a challenge with her, with her kid. And she kind of reacted and she's like, hey, it's this, this environment, his kids he's hanging out with. And she kind of reacted. And I said, well, you just got choked up on the smoke. And she's like, what do you mean? I was like, you didn't get down to the fire. You stayed in the smoke. You didn't get down to the real issue. And she kind of thought about it, you know, for a couple days and she ended up having a conversation and it was true. He was upset about something completely different than what she thought it was and it had nothing to do with his, with his friends. And, and so understanding, you know, really making sure that we're getting to the fire of things and then, um, you know, just, just kind of understanding there's always something missing there. But so, Coach and I talked about that on the podcast and then, you know, had Jamie the next week. We kind of continued of how to, how to better communicate. And it's one of the skills that every one of us in this room needs to elevate our skill set in our communication. And one of the things that Jamie talks about is the golden rule of communication. And he actually, he actually called his daughter on the podcast. He said, let me call Ruby and, and we'll ask Ruby this question. And she didn't answer anyway, she'd come back, but he ended up getting her on the phone. And of course, you know, how, you know good morning, what are you doing? And, and um, he said, let me ask you, I'm gonna ask you one question. What is the golden rule of communication? And she didn't hesitate. She goes, always ask permission. Always ask permission. And it's been an absolute game changer. And so think about that in every one of our conversations, you have to start it with by getting permission. What happens? The gate of the mind is shut. When you ask the question, the gate of the mind opens. Now they're more receptive. And, and so as we're kind of working through kind of understanding in the conversations and the things we're going to have over the next couple of days, this is another concept for you is that discovery time versus decision time. And as you're growing your organizations and you have your leadership team around you, when you're small, you can get away with just being open and conversating and you know, are we making a decision or are we not? But as you guys continue to grow and you add a few people into the conversation, some people are gonna take what you say as fact and they're gonna run with it. Like that's a decision. Like no, 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 we're just still brainstorming. We're just still talking here. And, and so not only getting permission in our conversations, but also being intentional in what type of conversation we're having. And so what my challenge for you guys, especially today, is to, is to be really in discovery mode, kind of discovery, bigger picture, where are we at, where do we wanna go, being honest with where we're at. Tomorrow, we'll move to making decisions. We'll move to like, hey, we need to make some decisions on what we're gonna commit to over the next 90 days. All right, and then um, from, from Peter Senge's book, The Fifth, Fifth Discipline, he kind of piggy, piggybacks on this a little bit more, and he's like, dialogue and discussion. And so dialogue is suspending our assumptions and our opinions and allowing our blind spots to be revealed, right? What we reveal, we can heal. We all have blind spots. And that's why, you know, having the courage to get into a room like this, you're allowing the vulnerability for your blind spots to show. And that's what we want. We want them to show because what we reveal, we can heal. And discussion, when we have a discussion, discussion is like a ping pong game. When you're playing a game, somebody has to win. So my challenge for you guys over the next couple days is to be in a lot of discovery time and let's have some great dialogue. Cool? All right, so ground rules, be real, uh, bring, bring, you know, play all out, um, be fully engaged, listen twice as much and be present. So if you've got, got something with a client, dealing with something, step out. 
Um, we will have some, you know, some breaks throughout. We have time at lunch. So if you need to, to put out a fire that can't wait, step out, just don't rob the room. That's um, just kind of one of the ground rules. And, and really challenging to listen more than, <laughs> than we should. And um, this is important. So when we're giving feedback, there's three, three ways to share, to share our feedback with each other. And, and say what type of feedback you're giving. One is from personal experience. Say, hey, I went through this. This is what I experienced. The other way to share is, hey, I saw somebody that they went through this. And then the third is, hey, this is a great idea I have. Personal experience, experience with somebody that you know. And then third is, hey, this is an idea. You have to let people know that because sometimes you just, you know, I can share something and you may take that, oh, John must have went through that. Instead, it was like, no, it was an idea I had. And so you just want to be real clear in how we're, how we're communicating things. Um, you know, for you guys new in the room, and I think you'll already start to see it, this is a very abundant mindset room. Um, people will, will go all out and share and give. And I think you guys have already experienced that at a, at a high level. Um, being vulnerable, transparent, and, and you know, really what it is is to build trust. And so this is the best definition of trust I've, I've ever seen. It's just being transparent, being vulnerable times time. So like you think about the more times you've been in this room, the more trust you have with the people that are here. And it's because you'll, you'll find out in a hurry how genuine and authentic and vulnerable this room is. And <laughs> Jackie always says, we usually get to our shit real quick. And I think you'll, we'll see that. We'll get to our ship pretty, pretty quick this morning. Um, so I'll set up the parking lot. So if you have an idea or a thought, actually in your book, make, make one page, make one page in, in the book um, where you're taking the, the notes. One is uh, for insights. So like on one page, little insights. These are little insights, ideas, things that I got. And then on the other, put actions. These are some of the actions I know I need to take. This little exercise that we do and in strategic, every session we start, we, we have this little sheet here. So little ahas, insights that we get, and then shit, these are actions I know I need to take. Um, yeah, make a little note there too, if you got a parking lot item until we can get a board put up. We'll have the parking lot. And cool, let's just have an incredible experience and uh, create some magical moments. All right, so we're gonna go around the room. This takes a little time, but it is so, so important. And this is one of the things that you guys need to be doing um, in every one of your meetings and everything that you do with your team. You can do it on a small scale. Positive focus, right? Everything with positive focus. Because you all had shit going on outside of the room and then you come into the room and you've got to be in the right frame of mind to be able to, you know, be able to, ha you know, make the most of this. So this is a Patrick Lencioni exercise. If you guys have, don't, do not have the advantage, his book, The Advantage in your library, get it, get a copy of it, The Advantage. It was the number one book, Clay Mask kept telling us to read. Alex, how many years did we go we didn't read it? It's like, so stupid. He would tell us every time we would go, did you read The Advantage yet? I was like, no. So, um, so Lencioni, and this is just, uh, just a, this is a low, low level of vulnerability. He has a couple exercises that ratchet up the vulnerability at a, at a deeper scale. I would recommend that with your, with your leadership team. If you're doing quarterly, offsite, annual, I would recommend going through the deep vulnerability with your team. Like, you're gonna get real. Like, <laughs> there's gonna be some tears shed if you go through that exercise correctly. We're not gonna do that this time, all right? So, so no tears here um, to kind of rock and, and contribute. Um, so what I want to do is we're going to, I want to talk about some of our accomplishments, um, over the past 90 days. And you know, my number one favorite book, and I've given it to you guys and I tell all of you guys to read it and read it again is the gap in the game. And you know, because it's so easy for us and, and a lot of us in here are driving so hard that, you know, we, we tend to only focus on kind of where we're trying to get to and we're frustrated because we're not there yet. And what, um, 
what they talk about in the gap and the gain in that concept is that you've got to be you know aware of constantly measuring how far you've really come right how far you've really traveled and it goes like with what what T was talking about is thinking through like should I go back and then you start to reflect on damn I've done a lot over the the last 90 days this is what Kyle was as he's kind of thinking through like damn we have done quite a bit of stuff and so just having that high level of awareness of of acknowledging all of the things that that we're doing and it's super super important that you don't miss this step and it's super important you do this with your team because um, there's going to be team members on there that are we're, I think we can all agree we're all emotional creatures so we're driven by by how we feel and and so we have to feel like we're winning every day because we are every one of you in here is winning every day and so you have to take the time to to acknowledge it I wanted to share another one of those little nuggets from the conversation with with coach on on the podcast and he talked about he, he gives little acronym you know little things you know for everything so he, you know he talks about you know smoke and fire you have to get real and he talks about you know we're all we're all nuts as, as humans and how he breaks that down is in is negative emotion you is understanding and T is trust and so what tends to happen is that when our negative emotions go up our understanding and trust goes down and, and so the, what we have to be able to do is help, help each other, help ourselves have a greater level of understanding, which will allow trust and understanding to go up and those negative emotions will come down. And, and so um, it's, it was just, it's just really good that the greater the, that understanding that we have um, of, kind of kind of the awareness of what's going on, but man, those wins help. But if you don't do that with your team, they're going to feel that negative emotion, their understanding and trust in you and the organization and what you're trying to do is going to go down. So you have to take time to talk about the wins. So let's just kind of free, free flow and share. Um, I want to talk about this for a little bit. Um, Jennifer and Alan um, just left the airport, so they're on their way. So when they get here, we'll take a break, let them get set in the room, and then we'll, we'll rock and roll till lunch. So who wants to just kind of free flow, share? I just yeah. want to say something. How much do you sit around and think about how much you grow? I, I was at that Cincinnati thing. It had to be four or five years ago now. What was that, 19? COVID. Yeah. And I showed up there, and you were just walking around handing out papers. And I thought, oh, this is a nice guy. He must be the guy who like, just facilitates things. He's like a helper.